In this video, we know that log y and log x follow a linear relationship. And the question asks us to find y in terms of x. And we begin looking at the graph. Now we know that a straight line has an equation generally of the form y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Now in this case, rather than y and x, we have log y and log x. Now I'll miss out the base 10 just for the moment. So log y minus, now I pick an x and y coordinate of my choice, I'll pick 1, 5. So log y minus 5 must equal m log x minus x. Now we can find m as well because m is the gradient. So if I imagine a right angled triangle under here, the change in y is from 5 to 17, which is 12. The change in x is from 1 to 5, which is 4. So 12 over 4 is 3. So 3 is the gradient. So log y minus 5 equals 3 bracket log x take away 1. And the first step is just to rearrange this into the form log y equals. So I'll expand the bracket. So 3 log x take away 3. I'll then add 5 across. So 3 log x plus 2. Now because these are log to the base 10, to cancel off the log I have to raise both sides to the power of 10. So 10 to the power of log y equals 10 to the power of 3 log x plus 2. Now this looks pretty complicated, however, the 10 and the log are inverse functions, so that leaves me just with y. And I can do a few things here. The 3 here next to the log can be raised as a power within the log. So I get 10 log of x cubed plus 2. I can then split this using power rules to get 10 to the power of log x cubed times by 10 to the power of 2. And 10 and the log cancel off. So y equals x cubed times by 10 squared, which is 100. So therefore, I'm left with the equation y equals 100x cubed.